Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to partition your C drive. I will say this, I do not recommend doing this on your C drive specifically, just because you have Windows installed on it, you have other applications, you have files, and sometimes when you write stuff to the disk, it basically puts them at different addresses, and if you partition this, it could, in theory, mess up or overwrite some part of that, which might be needed. So. I just don't think it's a good idea to partition it after Windows has been installed. Now if you're installing Windows and you're on the setup screen then sure partition it there before you actually install Windows. That's totally fine. But partitioning it after it's been installed I just don't think it's a good idea. However this was requested and I technically do know how to do this but it's something I don't recommend. But if you do want to go through with this please back up your data. In fact, I've literally cloned my entire C drive onto this. So if my C drive messes up, I literally have an exact copy of this. If you guys want to know how to do that, I will put a link in the description below to my other video where I show you guys how to clone your C drive. But here we go. So select your C drive so you have to find it. And I should say that I'm using Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I do have the paid version but I believe the free version supports this which is which can be found here you click download now install it I will put a link for this site now what you need to do is once you open that up click on this do not click on this do not click on this do not click on this click on your C drive after doing this your computer might not even boot so just as a heads up so if I'm not liable for anything that happens okay so clicking on the C drive Again, not this, this, not this, but the C drive, click on Move Resize Partition. Now when you go here, make sure you click on Using Enhanced Data Protecting Mode. And you can actually slide this slider. Now notice 400, basically 430 gigs, were, they're reserving some for the other stuff too. But basically, the dark blue is what's used and the light blue is what's available. So you can you know move this or you can just put a number here so let's say if I wanted to keep my main one at 750 I could just do that and then you basically just click OK but again it says it here too recommend to back up your data so I'm gonna click OK and the cool thing is with mini tool in case you messed up not to worry it's actually not gonna do anything until you click apply because you see operations pending here so I'm going to click apply and it says we strongly recommend closing all of their applications before you apply pending the changes there's also another way of doing this so click restart now it's going to restart 12 seconds later later all right we can see that it actually worked so it's pretty much now 750 gigs and i have unallocated 180 gigs and then i basically would just click on this right click I could just do create and then you know if I want to just just call it spare C as an example you know feel free to call anything you want select your drive letter NTFS for Windows you can even do XFAT as well but and I'm just gonna leave it there cluster size I'm gonna leave it to default and then you can partition this too now and make two separate partitions but if you didn't want to, just basically click OK and the same type of deal, press OK and it says, yeah, are you sure? And then I'm like, yep, and then that was it. So now if I go to my Windows, I will actually see if I click on this PC, you'll actually see the G drive and then I can, you know, do stuff on it and just, you know. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you to all my current subscribers.